Hey, this is Greg McAfee, and welcome to The Greg McAfee Show. Now let's get started. Hi, Greg McAfee here, and welcome to The Greg McAfee Show. If you guys have not subscribed uh, to the YouTube or the pod channel, feel free to do so, uh, because I put out this content each week. Um, so it can help you succeed, help me succeed, and just help others succeed. So turn on those notifications right there, and on every Tuesday when I put out this new episode, uh, you will be the first to see it. So I, I may have talked a little bit about this before, but it's, it's just constantly um, in front of me as I coach other um, business owners and talk to other people, and even talk to my children and um, others, um, take the high road, okay? What is the high road? Um, The high road is a place, it's a road that is less traveled. It's, it's It's doing things the right way. It's doing things with integrity. It's saying what you're it's doing what you say when you say you're going to do it. It is different than the low road. The low road is a is a busy place. There's lots of people there on the low road um, because they're after the quick buck and they're after whatever it is in it for them. So the high road is a much less traveled road, and I'll go into that in a little bit. But as I've mentioned before, on on, uh, this is episode 32. On episode 30, um, I talked about the grind will get you, and the grind will get you. Um, But I also want to say, running a business in spite of the grind is fun. If it's your calling, you're going to you're going to continue to take the high road and you're going to deal with the grind. So, um I hope I didn't discourage anyone, but I also hope I made someone think who was considering starting a business and maybe you're just not ready for that. So, but it's a uh, business is it can be exhaustive. It can be an exhaustive role um of having ownership of something like a business where you have responsibilities, people under you, um, liabilities, insurance, um, all the stuff that goes along with a business, taxes, all the stuff that goes along with a business. Uh, Most people have no idea what goes along with running a business. And that's okay. They don't need to. They just need to come to work, do their job, and go home. But most people have no idea the responsibility behind owning a business. It could be tempting at times to take the low road. It could be tempting at times to get even with someone. But when you're on the high road, you don't think like that often. It's you deal with the problems, you fix the problems, and you move on. So you take the high road. Um, Remember, the high road wins in the long haul. The high, the high road wins in the long run every time, every time. And uh, it's not easy at all running a business every day, but it is, if it's your calling, it's my calling, we deal with it, we enjoy the good times, we deal with the bumps in the road, and we move forward. That's just how it's done. Um, so... Why shouldn't I do whatever it takes to get ahead? Well, for for one reason, that's when you're all about me. When you're all about me, then you'll do whatever it takes to get ahead. But when you're all about others and you're all about serving, you'll do the right thing to get ahead. Not just anything to get ahead. So... If you think about um, employees, vendors, 
and customers will all trust you more when they know you take the high road. They may not agree with you, and they might not even like you, but we're not here to be liked. That's a, it's okay and nice to be liked, but we're not here to be liked. We're here to do a job, provide a job, provide an atmosphere where people can succeed in, and provide service to a customer um, in whatever trade you're in. But we're not necessarily here to be liked. You're not always going to be liked. Oh, of course you're going to be liked when you're handing out those bonuses. Of course you're going to be liked when you're when you present somebody with a new service truck. Of course you're going to be liked when you add on a couple bonus days to a vacation and pay them to be off. Of course you're going to be loved during those times. But you're not always going to be liked. And you have to get used to that as a business owner. If you're the type of person that just needs to be liked, then I'll say again, business is going to be pretty tough for you. Because you're not always going to be liked by your employee. You're not always going to be liked by your vendors. And you're definitely not always going to be liked by your customers. Because as right as the customers are, they're wrong a lot of times. Okay? We say the customer's always right. Um, no matter how wrong they are. So um, people call us because they trust us. We've done several surveys along the years. Why do you choose McAfee Heating and Air Conditioning? And the number one reason is we trust them. Um, so when you're trusted, you know, your vendors will sell to you. When you're trusted, your vendors will go above and beyond for you because when when we we are trusted because we pay, we pay our bills rather promptly we pay on time uh we we serve the vendor as well we take care of our vendors and we do things that help our vendor out and they do things to help us out so it's definitely a win-win situation but the people who work for us trust us. Now, does every person trust us that works for us? No. And they probably don't trust anyone else in their life. Okay? That's normally how it goes. Um, we've My team, I've got someone that's been here 27, 28 years, never missed a paycheck. Never missed a paycheck. Never been late getting a paycheck. So we do what we say we're going to do when we say we're going to do it. And if, if I had to go to the bank and borrow to make payroll, then I, that's exactly what I would do. But I pay my bills promptly. I pay my people promptly. And, and that's just who I am and what I do. And, and hopefully you can understand and appreciate that. Um, but also, good, solid leaders take the high road. Uh, the low road's full of people, like I said. They're trying to make a quick buck. Um, there was a book I read uh, years ago called The Blue Ocean Strategy. And uh, W. Chan Kim and Renee Malburn uh, wrote the book. Great book, um, The Blue Ocean Strategy. Um, the Blue Ocean Strategy was about the high road. When you get into the blue ocean you, from the red, the red, the red's full of competitors. The red's full of customers you don't want. The red's full of blood because there's sharks out there, and they're not the good shark. We're not talking about Shark Tank here, folks. We're talking about the sharks that are out there selling equipment um, at times below cost because they don't know uh, they're trying to get a job, and, and they don't know they're not making any profit. But anyway, um, the, the blue ocean was clean. It Very few were into the blue ocean. You can picture like a big yacht, uh, a couple yachts out there in the blue ocean. Those are your best high competitors. Those are the guys that care like you do. Those are the guys that are doing things right. The red ocean is filled with, uh, let's face it, a bunch of hacks, okay? A bunch of hacks who don't care about their people, don't care about their vendor, lie to advertise, lie to brand, lie to market, 
lie to their customers, lie to their people, period. That's the red ocean. I don't want anything to do with that red ocean. I don't want anything to do with the low road. I'm, I'm, about, I'm a high road. I'm a high roader. Let's put it that way. I'm a high roader. Um, if, if you want employees who are proud of your company, be a high roader. Again, is everyone going to be proud? No. Are people still going to quit because they didn't get their way? Yes. But few will. Few. Fewer will, I should say. Um, in order to do that, we've got to lead by example. Now, I mean, one thing, and one thing I've said, and 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 my core team know and understand this is that I won't make you do anything I wouldn't do, and there's a whole lot I wouldn't do. There's just a whole lot I wouldn't do. We we pick and choose the jobs we want because if Greg wouldn't go down into that two feet of water crawl space and lay down to install a air handler, we probably won't do it. So. Um, so I lead by example, share your principles. Don't just talk. You need to walk the talk. Um, when you're on the high road, you're walking the talk. And just remember, you will not please everyone. You will not please everyone. And if you're a people pleaser, then you may not want to go into business. By the way, this podcast is listened by I'm learning more and more now. This podcast is listened by many people, but it's designated towards business owners. That's what this podcast is for, is to help businesses grow and to help business owners think different. But of course, anyone can listen to it. It's live, right? On many different um, areas. So, Customers, uh, so you won't please everyone, um, but you stay on the high road anyway. And uh, customers will buy from you. Uh, people buy from people they trust. I've already said that. Uh, this is especially true in service industries. And service industries can be heating, electrical, plumbing. It can be. It can also be uh, lawyers and doctors and mechanics. Um, so any service industry. Um, when you take the high road, uh, pe more people's going to trust you. You've got to trust your doctor. You've got to trust your attorney. You know, you've got to trust your accountant. Also, when taking the high road, it's not what happens to you that matters. It's not what happens to you. When you're on the high road, there are going to be things that happen to you. And folks, the more the more you do for people and the more you lead your industry, the more targets you're going to have on your back, front, head, heart, legs. If they can take your legs out, if they can take your heart out, they've got you. If they can cut your head off, they know they got you. So you've got to be, you, you've got to have, you've got to wear the shield, Okay. But people on the high road, they definitely have the shield. And, you know, the, the Bible talks about different protection and uh, the helmet, the shoes, the breastplate, okay, um, the belt, okay? Many different tools that are used because you have to shield yourself from the enemies, and there definitely are enemies. When you're on the high road, you've got a lot of enemies. People just don't like you because you're doing well. People don't like you because you're making money. Uh, people don't like you because you're growing fast. Some of, some of the uh, Facebook forums that I'm on, uh, the people that run some of these forums are doing extremely well. And a lot of times they'll say, before I get a lot of hate mail, hear me out. It's, it's sad they have to explain themselves. It's sad they have to explain themselves because they're just doing well. They're, they're excelling, and they're succeeding, and they're doing well. And um, it's sad. It's sad. I, I heard a story one time um, uh, that you know a, little, a dad and a little boy was driving up the, uh, or walking up the road, rather, years ago. This was years ago. 
and Mr. Jenkins drove by in his Rolls Royce. And the dad looked at his son and said, you see, Mr. Jenkins, he owns a very successful business. He's a good man. Learn from him. Read about him. Watch him. I want you to watch me too, son, but Mr. Jenkins is a good man. He helps a lot of people. He makes a lot of money in order to help more people, okay? Not today, folks. Father, son, walking up the hill. Mr. Jenkins comes by in the Rolls Royce. Mr. Jenkins' grandson now drives the Rolls Royce. And uh, the dad says to the son, why does he get a Rolls Royce? He doesn't deserve a Rolls Royce. Let's throw a rock at him. That's it. Let's throw a rock at him. And, and that's the mentality uh, today a lot for a lot of people. I'm not doing well. You're doing well. And that's not fair. Okay. High roaders give grace and they forgive easy. That's what high roaders do. We give grace because we know we're human too. We know we've made mistakes. We know others have given us grace. Others have forgiven us. When you're on the high road, you've been through experience. You get experience. You get a lot of experience. You're used to taking hits. And I'm going to talk about in a minute, you're taking bullets. So high roaders give grace. They don't hold grudges. High roaders don't hold grudges. Matter of fact, we forget quickly. We move on. We're, 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 not, we're not about holding grudges. People hurt us, screw us, hurt their team, which is our team, screw the team. You know, all kinds of stuff happens in a day. Um, but we forgive and we forget, we try, we do our best to forget and we move on. When you're on the high road, you take the bullets. Now that doesn't mean you're bulletproof, folks. But when you're on the high road, you take the bullets. And once you do all you can do, then we remove the bullets, we heal fast, and we move on. Again, so we're not bulletproof. Being on the high road doesn't make you bulletproof. You're going you're gonna to get hurt. You're going to get hit, and you're going to get hurt. Um, but on the high road, it doesn't kill you. Low rotors take a bullet and they go down for the count because they don't know how to handle it. And they cry about it and they whine about it and they quit. That's a low rotor. There's a lot of ro low rotors out there. But when you're, when you're running a successful business, you take the high road. The high road, yeah, you're going to take some bullets because like I said, there's going to be people against you. They don't, they don't like you. They don't like how you look. They don't like what you drive. They don't like where you live. They don't like the building you do business out of, even though it provides a living for them. They still, some people just don't like it. So we heal, we heal, we improve, and we move on. We keep going. High roaders don't quit. It's not about, it's not about, it's not in their vocabulary to quit. It's not in their Webster dictionary. Quitting is not an option. We, we just don't do it. Quitters never win and winners never quit. And it's just not an option for a high roader. We don't quit. We just keep going. We excel. You know, sometimes getting shot at motivates us. We're, we're a different breed. High roaders are a different breed of people. And sometimes getting shot at or hurt, it only motivates us to do better. It only motivates us to do better. It sounds weird, but if you can relate to this, then you get it and you go, absolutely. I've accomplished more by negative attacks than I have from someone telling me I'm wonderful, for sure. And there are some people out there that think I'm wonderful. Um, and that's right or wrong, right? Okay. Um, 
so we don't quit. And lastly, I did a, I did, I think my first, in my first five podcasts, I did something on the American Eagle, the American Bald Eagle. We have something in common. We have a few things in common, actually, bald being one of them. But the, like an eagle, a high rotor rises above the storms. Because, see, an eagle flies above the storms. An eagle doesn't fly with the other birds below the storms. They fly above the storms. They fly, they're above the clouds. Uh, when you look down at an airplane, you see those clouds, and there's rain below those clouds. You're above the clouds. But um, So an eagle flies above the storms. And, and then in the Bible, in the Bible, Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and will not faint. So I want to consider myself a high roader. I just take the high road. I'd rather not be on the low road. But personally, I'm on the high road with God. And I want to be, I want to soar high like the eagles. I want to run and not grow weary. I want to deal with the issues of being shot at and, and um, you know, what, what attacked. But I want to deal with those with a great attitude. I want to take the high road. I want to. I want to. Uh, I want to soar. I don't want to grow weary. It is exhausting. It is running a business can be exhausting at times. But when you look at Isaiah forty thirty one, and you trust in the Lord, you will find new strength. And I find my new strength, and I take out onto the new high road. And I, I'm a high roader, and I'm going forward. Do I fail? Yes. One of John Maxwell's best books, well, he's written a lot of best books, but for me, was failing forward. We all are going to fail. But when you fail forward, and you get on that high road, and you keep going, it's amazing. For me, it's amazing what God does. It's amazing what happens. Unbelievable. Wish everyone, well, everyone can experience it. I wish everyone would experience it. So with that, take the high road. Sometimes you want to get even. Don't don't go there. That's the low road mentality. That's the loser mentality. That's a quitter's mentality. I'll show him, right? I'll show them, right? Why? Where does it get you? Why burn bridges? You never know when you might need someone. You never know when you might need that person. With that, just more to think about. I hope it challenges you a little bit, and I hope you stay on the high road no matter what happens in your life and in your business. You can do that. Have a great day and carry on.